Hey guys, it's CCAWT here, and I'm going to be showing you how to make um, single channel and multi channel BRSTMs. Um, single channel BRSTMs are basically like, let's say, Daisy Circuit, for example, where the, the same music keeps on playing over and over again, and, and a multi channel BRSTM is, um, let's say, Toast Factory, where the music changes slightly depending on where you are. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to do. Um, there's two different types of music files and two parts. Um, this time, I'm just going to be showing you how to make single channels, and I'm going to be using this song here and um, these programs. This, yep, BRSAR, BRSTM, Size Panjo, Audacity, and Volbox. Um, I will host a file. I will upload something to Mega Upload, and you can just download it in the description. So, you can just download it and this should be these four things. You will only be needing the multi-channel converter if you're planning on doing multi-channel BRSTMs. Anyway, um, let's get started. So, what you really need is just these three programs and um, an mp3 file or it doesn't really matter what file it is of music that you want. Let's say I'm just going to be using this for Daisy Circuit. So anyway, just First step, open up Audacity. And then you just like project, import audio, and select techno dream trance. That's what I'm gonna use. You just like whatever you want. And it's importing, just wait for it. Okay, then it's done and now what you do is you select all, just drag your mouse, and then it's like project, um actually no never mind. Um effect amplify and I usually set mine to um, like 6.9 or 7 this is set mine to 6.9 and if you're wondering why you need to amplify it um, usually when you import audio like this to the game it it's really low in the in volume see these bars are really low they should be much higher like these for example these aren't this is this would be good audio for the game um, Let's see, these are much higher now. Let's see how it, how it goes. Much better. Okay, now that's done. Um, you can also do a lot more stuff here, like change pitch and stuff. It's, it's just fun to experiment with this stuff. Anyway, now what you do is file, export as wave. And name it something you'll remember, or just name it the course that you're going to use it for, for example. And underscore, and if it's the first and second lap. I'm just going to name it Daisy Circuit underscore n. It was n is um first and second lap, and when you speed it up, so it's the final lap, it's going to be underscore f. Anyway, now that you've done that, you select everything again, and you go to effect and change speed. And here, I usually set it to like a twenty. It sounds much better. See. Okay, and just in case you made a mistake, for example, changing the speed or you don't like it or whatever, you can just press Command Z, and it'll just erase what you just did. It's really helpful because sometimes I, I used to screw up a lot on this Audacity. So anyway, now just change the speed, and as you can see, it got much shorter because obviously the speed changed. Anyway, now what you do is file export as wave, name it Daisy Circuit. Or whatever your course is again. Underscore F and save. Okay, now that that's done, just close up Audacity. You don't need this anymore. Don't save changes. And now you open up Brawlbox. It should look something like this. Now just like File, New. BRSTM audio stream and select the file that you want. I'm just going to select days circuit underscore n open select loop there and just play just in case you just in case you're not sure if it's the right one. Anyway, select OK now and it should be and it's encoding. It's going to take a while. I'm just going to cut off the video here and I'm tell you when it's finished. Bye. Okay, now it's finished, done, and this should appear right here. I'm um, just select loop now. And 
don't do anything else yet, just go back to that main folder and select a BRC or BRSTM size patcher. Go to MKWE BRC or size patcher 0 0.9. It should look something like this. Yep. Now just like the track and and just and this as you can see it's really helpful so you know the actual name of the file. Let's say daisy circuit for the first and second lap is n underscore daisy thirty two underscore n. This um is case is um this um file is case sensitive so make sure you're exactly the same one um with caps and everything. So anyway now what you do is right click, export, and save as type, save as BRST and raw audio and name it. Um let's just see what's named over here. Oh my god, um I think it was n underscore daisy 32 underscore n. There. Okay, just save it as that. And that's say it's right there, see? Okay, anyway, just go back to ball box, new, BRSTM audio stream, and select daisy circuit underscore f. Select loop, and OK. Now the encoding, I'll cut off the video here again, and I'll tell you when it's finished. See ya. Okay guys, now it's finished. Now what you need to do is like loop again and again right click export raw audio save as type of course on then n underscore daisy thirty two underscore f this time because it's final lap. Anyway, save and they should have these two files right there. And now what you need to do this is where you actually do need the BRCR BRSTM size patch up. Okay, so you select load BRSAR and yep, you need to select go to um, where you put this uh, and you should select revocart.brsar. You need this to patch the files. Now you select load BRSTM and I am going to select my underscore end. Now this is done, just select patch new size and it should be done. Then you've done everything right. Now do this again, do the same step once again with um underscore f. Oh I made a mistake again. Make sure here it's like it's underscore f. Load BRSAR, load BRSTM, oh wait, never mind this. Load BRSTM Lol what? I think it loaded, I don't know. Then that was pretty spazzy. Never mind. Um okay now patch new size and it's done. Okay then. Now that this is done, um, all you have to do now is put in your SD card in your, in your computer and go into the MKWE folder and inside that folder should be my stuff. And now put the two files, .brstm, um, into that folder and load up your Wii and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now we're on the Wii and now what you just need to do is put the SD card in your Wii and now just um, load up Revolution and press start <sighs> okay um... just wait for it and okay this screen should pop up and it's just still loading the files from your SD card so just wait and be impatient um... This is taking a while. There it is. Okay. The settings I need to have is CDDP revolution disabled, remove game music, music disabled, and pretty much everything disabled except for the my stuff folder. Um, this is only if you want to play with texture hacks and music hacks or whatever. Just have everything disabled except for my stuff. Now just load up your game and oh, just play normally, and you should eventually see um. We'll just go to the course that you wanted to see, um, texture hacked or music hacked or whatever, and I'm just going to go to time trials to see it, picking Daisy, because she's awesome, and, wait, no, I failed that, <laughs> anyway, go to Daisy Circuit, and it does take a little longer for the track to load up, but it's, it's worth the wait, trust me. Okay then, then moment of truth, 3, 2, 1, go. See, the music works fine. 
It's pretty good, huh? Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, guys, see ya. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.